What is good, John? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another video. Let's go ahead and get this cold start in. Get straight into this video. Sheesh. Sheesh. Now that mama didn't calm down, you know what I'm saying? He seemed a little upset on that one, just a little mad. Oh, um, today's video. So, as you guys may or may not know, if you haven't seen the video already, I put a card up. But your boy is sponsored by Mishimoto. Um, and I got the Mishimoto oil catch can on here. If you guys don't know what an oil catch can is or what it does, the purpose of an oil catch can is basically it catches all the oil that is returning, um, that tries to return back into your throttle body. Um, so basically, it ca uh, you connect your PCV valve right to the catch can, and I forget it's something else. Honestly, I don't know all the, like the logistics and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But I know the basics, and I definitely did install it my damn self. Just popped the hood, that's why I died. Because um, whenever it's in the remote start feature, it don't. You pop the hood and it turns off. But anyway, gonna go ahead and open up the hood. Show that big old 6.2 liter V8, big there, big brother, yes sir, big brother. Big old 6.2 liter V8, yes sir. Cold air inductions, cold air intake. But um, anyway, this is the Mishimoto oil catch can. Um. So like I was saying, it runs, one line runs to the PCV, right? And then this line, I forget what this line is called, but basically the whole point of this oil catch can is it catches all the oil that's already ran through the motor and it's trying to go into your throttle body. And that's something that you don't want. So today we're gonna be taking off the catch can to see if it's actually working. So give me one second, let me go grab the tools that we will need. Now for some reason, my um, O-ring on mine is seized, so I can't do it the traditional way, which would be just to twist it off of this holder. I can't do that. So honestly, so in order to, for me to check and see if it's actually working, I actually have to take the entire catch can off. So it's gonna be these three Allen screws right here, and then, gonna have to take off these lines as well just to get the entire catch can out and then there's a drain plug at the bottom so we'll flip it upside down undo the uh, drain plug and see how much oil is actually in there it's been on the car I want to say for about 1500 to 2000 miles so we're gonna see how good it's actually working you do know what I'm saying so give me one second let me go grab some tools and we'll go ahead and get straight into this video all right, y'all, so basically, the tools you're gonna need if you have to either install, really, or check it, is gonna be an Allen key set, and then, I'm saying, you don't have to have the power wrench, but it always helps, it makes it a little faster. I'm gonna use the power wrench for these um, clamps right here, and then the Allen key for these three, and uh, we'll get it right off. So give me one second. I hope this doesn't make a mess. You do not want to lose these joints. So make hey, sure you put them in a good spot. And I'm not gonna take out all three just yet. I'm just gonna take out the first two. That way it's still on the bracket. Now I'm gonna go ahead, grab the wrench, and uh, Okay. 
I believe that was a seven. Not a hundred percent sure. There's a seven millimeter in here. Definitely not. So I'm gonna have to reach into my archives. That joint. Oh, that's the wrong way, you feel me? Then go. Go that way. That should be good enough. Ain't that just great? Ain't that just great? It's a good thing my car doesn't have the underbody panels. So once you get those loose, these lines should be able to just a little bit, take a little bit of play, and it should be able to just come right off. Just straight like that. And just I'm pull them right off. Same on this side. Bingo. And you wanna take that Allen key, take that last one off. Straight like that. And boom, just like that, you got it out. Now, like I was saying, there's a drain plug right here. So that's a big boy island key. That's why I say you need the island key set. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try the biggest island key that I got to see if it fit. And it doesn't at all. Sheesh. Okay, now we've run into a hiccup. The only other option Oh we good is to just take that joint off. Oh yeah, there is oil in here though. For sure. Sheesh. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. That's a good amount. Damn. All right, y'all. I got y'all. I know y'all want to see the inside too. You feel me? But that is a good amount of oil in there, dude. And imagine this is just going back into your motor, bro. Hold on, I want to get it in the sunlight so y'all can see. Imagine that just going back into your motor, bro. Look at that. Look at how bad that looks, bro. I don't know if the camera can quite pick it up. Let me go get an empty uh, water bottle. I'll pour it in there and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, y'all. So I'm in the crib now, in the kitchen. You get what I'm saying? All right, let me put y'all a little higher. That would have been the easier. Dude. Okay. Okay, bet. We we'll do it like this. So I got an empty water bottle. The water bottle. Take that joint. Sheesh. So look, it's not that much, right? But it's doing its job. You feel what I'm saying? I'm. 
I ain't gonna lie, I'm stupid ecstatic because I always see the YouTubers and all of them having the catch cans and I always wanted to get a catch can now that I got it, you know what I'm saying? I always wanted to know if it worked <laughs> and it's working, man. So, Mishimoto, y'all do y'all damn thing, you dig know what I'm saying? But um, without further ado, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just put everything back together, reverse the process that I just showed you guys um, and the car should be good to go. Give it a crank, make sure everything's running smooth. It's, I mean, it shouldn't be affected at all, honestly. I, I don't think I'm having any leaks or anything like that, but yes, yeah, sir. Oil catch can, no flakes in the oil or none of that. You know what I'm saying? We're straight, no blown motor, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway, without further ado, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you smash that subscribe button, you turn on post notifications, you drop a comment down in the comment section down below. Let me know what oil catch cans you guys are running, or you guys are running Mishimoto or any of the other competitors out there. Let me know down in the comment section down below. But yeah, man, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>